And joining us here in TCO Studios, I'm Tatum Everett alongside new defensive coordinator Ed Donatel. Ed, thank you for being here. We're excited to talk to you. Well, it's a pleasure. You know, it's, you, you, I'm really excited to be part of the Viking family. I bet. You come in here with a, with a pedigree. I mean, these Rams coaches, we all know they have their rings, but you come in here with two rings of your own when you're with the Broncos. What keeps you motivated and to want to bring a Super Bowl championship here to Minnesota now? Yeah, I think first and foremost is the people and the relationships, you know. I see myself and our staff as we're team builders and we love this challenge. You couldn't have a better environment here, the rich Viking tradition to be part of this NFC North again is, is quite a task. Yeah, you touched on it. You have 31 years of coaching experience and yet the head coach was five years old when you started out on your coaching journey. What drew you to want to say yes to running Kevin O'Connell's defense? So what attracted me is my early talks with Kevin and I could see how aligned he was with his vision with Quasi, and that was exciting to me and I could see that they had the, the, the same vision for this team to be very flexible and growth oriented and I want to be part of it. This is your fourth defensive coordinator position. How have you changed in that role since you were with the Packers there in the early 2000s? Yeah, well the game is ever changing. And if you're going to stay relevant in the game, you have to change with it. So I'm always learning and growing and trying to fix problems. And uh, I'm motivated to, to build groups. And this was another opportunity. Yeah, during your time as a defensive coordinator, you've ran a 4-3 scheme in with the Packers and also in Atlanta. And the last three seasons, though, it's been a 3-4 in Denver. What do you plan on running here in Minnesota? Yeah. Well, really, it's been, a, it's been a combination of both of them, but the last 11 years or 12 years, it's been 3-4. And right, right now, I can tell you, this is going to be a multiple dictating. It's going to be 3-4 and 4-3 both fronts. And the, the bedrock of this thing is going to be whipping blockers and tackling and setting edges. Uh, we're going to put all our resources and engineer our defense to make it hard for opposing quarterbacks. We want to affect them mentally and physically. How does that scheme adaptability affect the personnel on the current roster? Yeah, well, there's all kinds of good players here. And what we, we look to do right now is to learn all our talent. And there's going to be new talent coming in, and it's going to be an ongoing process. But at the end of the day, we have a philosophy, but then we shape it to the players. You know, I always want to say, you know, what can a player do? Let's think players, then the plays. Speaking of players, are there any names on the roster right now that jump out to you that you just can't wait to get your hands on and coach? Yeah, it'd be unfair to do that, but you, you know who the names are and the guys that are re, uh, coming back. We're ju I'm just excited to pour into them and get to know them. The Broncos' defense this last season under you were third overall in points allowed, eighth overall in yards allowed. Conversely, the Vikings were in the bottom of those categories, 24th and 30th. What do you bring to the table that can improve this Vikings defense overall? Yeah. First of all, I have respect for the, the previous staff and what the players did here. Mike Zimmer, you know, coached a lot of great defenses here for a, a long time. Mm -hmm. and they might have slipped last year for, for whatever reasons, but all we know is what, what we do. And we're going to take the best schemes we know right now and adapt them to the players that are here and, uh, and help this team win.